stage at the New England Metal and Hardcore Festival, and right now I am joined by one of the bands that all day long everyone's been talking about, waiting for, and it is Meshuggah. Hey, man, how, how you doing? doing? How you doing? Everybody's <laughs> waiting. Yeah. So, you know. Nice to hear. <laughs> it's going to be some dead kids. You're going to have to pick them back up. They're getting hammered out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it'll, it'll be not a problem. So, um, I want to go back to the last summer at OzFest. Mm -hmm which is when every day all I'd hear about is Meshuga. Mm -hmm. Gotta go watch him, gotta go watch him, you know, so how was OzFest for you? I was definitely good, uh, no doubt. A lot of people every day, a good stage to play on, a good slot every day. We had the same spot. So it was definitely a decent, a decent I mean, summer. The OzFest is a tough tour, but it's fun. Yeah, you know? second stage is definitely where mm -hmm. the real action's at. Main stage is kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of a track, yeah, it's actually. Been, it's a bit more rough over <laughs> the second sucks. stage. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Especially yeah, no. if you're the, the first, the first guy standing yeah, in just yeah. a row of empty seats. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to have that. Well, that would have been Zach Hall. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> Poor Zach. No, we had fun, though. It was a good tour for us. Definitely. Yeah, no. Um, cause I know. Mean, well, Jack Osborne was a big fan. Mm -hmm. did, was he? Did he play a part in getting you the tour, or was, was I heard it, did that so. come after the fact? I heard so, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But, yeah. you know, he, he. I think he was into us before we were on the Oz Fest. Right. Do you see yourselves crossing over to different fans? Because I, you know, I know a lot of bands like Deftones and Tool and Metallica always mention you. you know, it, seems, so, it seems you know, to a certain extent, at least, that we... Uh, We've been able to get some like a crossover crowd, so to speak. Some some fans from the hardcore scene, more or less, from the metal scene, and maybe from the more like progressive side of uh, pop rock right now. It yeah. seems because that seemed like it was happening with System of a Down. Yeah, certain yeah. bands cross over and become another thing. Yeah, they now thought it was just a, a metal band. I don't know band. if we are or if we managed to do that, but if we are, it's great. Because yeah, I mean, yeah. it's obviously a good thing to reach out to different like types of crowds. Fans of fan. What do yeah, you do? You, exactly. know, you can't discriminate. So no. we, we would go to your video right now, but you don't have one. No. Why not? We have one. <laughs> we have one, but it's oh, not here yet. Oh, it's yeah. not here yet. That's hopefully, why. Hopefully. I thought this was going to be a whole, like, we don't make videos discussion. Uh, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> no there's, one, there's one on the way. Okay, yeah, there's one on the finished, way. So. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for not having a video, because then I can fill the slot with my video. Here's, uh, <laughs> here's Perfect, one for man. me that I can work in the show and seamlessly shelf promote yeah. myself. Anyway. Just uh, try and imagine <laughs> while seeing Rob's video that it's ours. You can actually yeah, turn the yeah. sound off on your TV and play yeah, their put album. Put on the CD yeah. and it's create, create the We thought this right? all out. It's basically yeah. the same thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, thanks for stopping man. by. All right, Thank you. Sugar. Well, Wait for their new video. It'll be here someday. Here's my Living Dead Girl from the Metal Festival. Check it out. Uh, the one gripe that we've heard from most of them is that the metal kids don't like the way the hardcore kids dance and the hardcore kids don't like the way the metal kids dance. Why do you think when they start dancing they're such a big problem? No one dances, man. I haven't seen anybody dance at a metal show in years. People beat the crap out of each other. I see the hardcore kids and I feel like somebody's gonna get their heads knocked off their shoulders. It's like a war when those kids dance. I wouldn't want to be in that much, but you know, I'd be beaten to death. What's the difference in the two moshing styles? Mashing and moshing. <laughs> Metal kids just want to headbang and drink beer, and the hardcore kids just want to kick ass. The hardcore kids have their, what we call, Kung Fu Louie dancing. Metal kids don't know how to dance. The hardcore kids dance like they have in two weeks, and the heavy metal kids dance like a mosquito on a piece of hot steel. I'd rather, like, watch the band play than watch out whether my head's going to get caved in by something. No throwing punches because you don't understand. It's like cavemen throwing rocks at the moon. Come on, man. We should all just be happy. It's all going to blend into one big genre anyway. Can we all just get along? <laughs> that would be nice. Hey, we're into our fifth hour here of nonstop metal.